All right, Knights of Apollo, welcome back to the battlefield. Now, I don't know if you can handle this battle, okay? You you might want to sit down for this battle because it's just, it's too epic and there's some crazy, crazy maneuvers in this fight that I know you guys are going to absolutely love. So the French Empire and all its glory and its epicness and its power, they are on the march, but there are few few brave men who resisted. A coalition of forces are taking on the French. We have the British, we have the Spanish, and we have the Russians working together to bring down the French Empire. Will they do it today, or will the French be victorious? This battle has amazing maneuvers and tactics, and you are going to witness one of the largest cav engagements I have ever seen in Napoleon Total War 3, so sit back guys, relax, get some snacks and drinks, and enjoy the battle. Alright guys, here we are with the start of the battle, and right away, it looks like Spain or the British-Spanish uh, alliance here is gonna head straight for the French. They already have infantry making their way about to embrace the French lines. Now, if we look at the deployment really quick, you can see there's a little bit of a U-shape. It's gonna be on both sides here, like both both teams are gonna make this U-shape. It's how they deployed. So we have one French army here. Look at the mini-map too, and you can see the different locations. You've got another French army kind of at this corner, and then you bend this way, and there's another French army. So that's four French armies. And this is the, oh, this is the uh, French uh, Italian army. Very cool. So uh, 1799. Anyway, it's an earlier period. Uh, but yeah, it's going to get intense really quick. Now on the other team, they are, they've naturally deployed the same kind of way. You've got armies, you know, kind of over here. You got one over here. The Spain, you can see his general here. And then of course we have the British who are getting hyper aggressive i mean look at this they are going full speed ahead against the french army so i think this is a 1v1 now that might change quickly because something really interesting about this battle is that one of the players brought almost entirely all cav so they are going to have a huge cav presence on the battlefield and that's going to be that's going to be pretty dang interesting. So let's go back over to this side. Let's see what the British are going to do here. It does look like they're kind of going heavy on the, this would be their left flank. But the French are prepared for it. They have this line of reserve infantry. Looks like it's mostly grenadiers here. Oh, no, no, no. It's a mix. It's a mix. Well, no, hold. It is mostly grenadiers. Okay, so he's got a grenadier line that I assume he was going to hold back as in reserve, but he might need them now as they are advancing forward on their right flank. That would be the British, British left flank. Now, as we speak, we do have some shots fired. We have the Chasseur. Uh, they are opening fire on the uh, British, British forces here. So uh, they are going to get some early pop shots there. And I think that's why the British are kind of heading away from this side of the battle. Or like the center. Because they don't have the range. And they're going to try to, you know, maneuver their line over to the other side. And try to put some pressure on the French army position. Let's go over into the center of the battlefield where things are getting pretty spicy. We have Spain moving forward. And it looks like we're going to have ourselves a bloody urban fight here we're gonna have uh you know in the streets it's a it's a town here urban struggle it's not gonna be in the open field uh so we'll see how this plays out france is going head uh, head first into the settlement it looks like they want to establish a solid foothold in this small town try to you know hold the strategic choke points as the, you know the different streets and whatnot and then on the other side spain is moving forward and they are not hesitating either guys i feel like this is going to be pretty bloody here we'll see though it looks like Spain is slowing down a bit a little bit there let's go back over to the other side of the battlefield where uh, the British I think have gotten in range uh, firing range here against the French it is still fairly far away so nothing yet from both sides and France is actually gonna you know he's like you know what you're gonna maneuver over to my right I'm gonna maneuver even more to my right uh, so they're really trying to mirror each other and we do have our first line infantry gunfire there uh, from the British as they open fire on the maneuvering French 
but I think the French are going to return the favor any time now. They're going to open fire, and uh, this this battle is really going to pick up. Let's uh, let's go back over to the other side. Let's really try to capture both these battles. And oh, here we go! Big cav engagement right here. The French are charging in with the second dragoons, and the Spanish are going to countercharge with one unit of cav, uh, which is a little surprising there. Uh, oh, okay, that makes sense. Now we've got more Spanish cav coming out of these beautiful Spanish trees. And uh, for some reason, my camera is like lightning fast when I turn it. So, uh, yeah, just if, if you're getting a little sick by me turning the camera, I do, I do apologize. And that was a great, great win there by the Spanish. But the French are not done. They're like, no, 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 no. You're not going to get away with killing our cab. They're setting up the 6th sixth, uh, sixth Dragoon and ninth Dragoon. Uh, they are going to try to get the Spanish cab, but they are having to charge uphill. It's just not a favorable... Uh, it's not a favorable, favorable charge, uh, and they're just going to dis... dis uh, disengage uh so yeah that was that was huge and look at all this cab that is showing up here absolutely stunning amount of cab and then meanwhile that's going on we still have look at this maneuvering they're maneuvering all the way to this uh this sea here but yeah this is a sea this is a massive coastline that they're maneuvering to and uh we're gonna see how this plays out they're gonna have to stop eventually they're gonna have to engage eventually and I really like this. It's the calm before the storm. The tension is rising. And pretty soon, these two armies are going to full-on clash and start killing the hell out of each other. Uh, we do have some artillery posting up in the back here. It's a little open to potentially a cab charge, but we are seeing some British infantry kind of close the gap there and protect his artillery. The French, I would say, have a superior artillery position. Nice little slope here. They can fire over their own men, and they can get some fantastic shots here. So really good position by the French artillery let's go back over on this side where the fight has surprisingly not picked up other than the cav engagement which was really fun to witness um, which again France kind of lost that small battle there but they've got a lot more cav where that came from so we'll see how that plays out now let's not forget there's another French army way over here but this is our first time seeing Russian infantry appear uh, and they are getting shot at by the French artillery looks like the Russians are kind of going with a um, a scorched earth policy uh, which is very fitting for them. Uh, I think they're going to kind of fall back to the safety of this hill and potentially, potentially use it against the French. Now, if they do that, what I would do is keep them locked on this hill and send, you know, a quarter of your army down over this way and attack Spain from the other side. But we'll see how this plays out. Oh, I think, I think some bayonets are going to get bloodied here soon uh, because we have France getting into very dangerous close range of the Spanish army. Oh, and shots open fired uh, on the French forces as they maneuver through this town, and they have taken heavy casualties, uh, lots of soldiers down as they maneuver through the town. But the good thing for France is that they have now taken the town. Uh, they, it did cost them a little bit with uh, some lives there, but let's hold on. There's a lot of breaking going on over on this side. We did get a bit of a cav engagement. Oh, my goodness. Artillery hits them hard. It looks like they went for a little bit of a cav charge to go for the lights. I think they did break a unit of lights, but the French counter charge with their own cav. But they are getting blasted, shed, uh, shredded into pieces by the artillery. And unfortunately, France is going to lose this cab unit as well. Uh, a fairly, uh, I would say a slightly favorable trade for the British as they destroyed lights and a cab unit. They only lost a cab unit. Really just depends on how good that cab unit was. Anyways, uh, now things are really picking up, guys. They have ran, they, both armies have ran out of room. They cannot maneuver anymore, so there's only one option now, and that is to shoot the hell out of each other. Uh, and, and so, so be it. And we've got a lot of grenadiers opening fire, uh, on this side. This is so cool. This is like the grand army here. So many different, uh, unit types. All right, now I do hear some yelling here. Yes, indeed, we've got a maneuver of grenadiers. They don't, hey, they don't want to sit around and just shoot it. They want to go in. They're like, I want my blood. I want my bayonet bloody. The, the, look at this horse. He's like, excuse me, pardon me, please, please, no. 
This horse getting stuck in the unit. He's like, please. I can't, I've never seen that before. They push this uh, un, uh, our horse, horseless rider or riderless horse. Uh, that's what I was going for. Anyways, big charge right there by two units of grenadiers. I absolutely love the audacity from the French army. That bold move. Now they're going to follow it up with some dragoons and infantry. More grenadiers marching head first into this front. But the British are going to maneuver back and try to create some space. But the French are not going to let them do it. They're going to keep pushing and they're going to keep getting their bayonets wet. Now, while this is going on, things are heating up in the center of the battle between Spain and France as they struggle over this town. We've got a nasty melee going on inside this building. And then, of course, we have the infantry who are holding the city streets. Uh, we got the 56th uh, line infantry here. Try I mean, seriously, point blank. I mean, they were probably talking to each other. I mean, Spanish, French, the languages are very similar. I'm sure they could communicate and they know what the hell they're saying. Um, and yeah, we've got more French troops just firing through the cracks, the alleyways, the streets of this town. And things are getting pretty heated over on this side as well. And it does look like Spain has controlled this building, this house. Uh, which is going to be pretty big for them, literally, because the house is huge. But it's also going to be good strategically because they're going to be able to fire at it. And the French are just going to send a depleted unit in there. Uh, it, you know, it, it, this might work. There's a depleted unit of Spanish in there as well. Uh, so they might be able to, well, kind of. I don't know. It's tough to tell. Uh, but I don't think this is going to be enough from the French. Let's go back over to the other side and see. Oh, my goodness. Look at the chaos of this fight as the French... Uh, went in heavy-handed with bayonets and cav as they are trying to um, really just insta-break it feels like this British army and look at this they are just they've got the British right where they want them they got the French forming square over here against the British cav as it looks like the British tried to maneuver some cav forward to support and delay just push back this French assault this bayonet charge um, but, uh, it, yeah, it looks like the French have the British on the run over here. Uh, over on this side, oh my goodness, okay, okay. Massive cav engagement. We're gonna pause it here, guys, because what I'm gonna do, I'm so mad I missed this. This is a huge cav enga en engagement. We're gonna go back and rewatch this to the point where we are now. All right, guys, so we went back in time. The two cab forces are squaring off here. It looks like the coalition was going to go. Well, they are moving forward, but they're not charging. So they might be getting ready to uh, to charge the French. Now, if you look at the French side, look at the amount of cab they have here. And I don't know if the enemy, the coalition, can see this force, but this is unreal. I mean, look at the amount of horses in this one small area. This is just insane. And here we go. Looks like it's going to start off with a French charge over on the uh, right flank of the coalition. This would be, well, this from their perspective, the left flank. And then we have more cab charging in, trying to stop the French reinforcements. And then the French charge in another unit. We got some sick dragoons going in against enemy cav. And then you got another uh, another set of cav going after a pair of cav going after each other. More dragoons charging in, but guess what, guys? That is only the beginning. Now, so far the coalition is doing very well. We've got another French unit. Is this Mar Marat coming in, charging in himself? Uh, and he's doing a great job cleaning up this flank, but uh, reinforcements are going to come in from the French side. Look at this. Look at this. The 12th charging in. They're going to get into this fight. And so far, it looks like France is winning this engagement, uh, which, of course, we kind of know the outcome of this cav charge. Uh, but now we've got the Spanish cav kind of trotting in to this massive melee. More French forces going on the far edge of this fight, charging in against the Spanish cav absolutely bloody engagement more cab just throwing themselves into this melee and absolutely 
insane crazy fight you can see the spanish the spanish definitely brought some fresh reserves here which broke a lot of the uh french cab that sh that were like the first to charge in uh but uh of course france has reinforcements oh wait spain is winning over on this side oh, this is interesting this is interesting see yeah they're gonna turn in they're gonna swing around and join the center fight to try to help uh, help win this one but France is winning on this far flank over here and now they're gonna maneuver their cav over to this you know top of this hill and try to overwhel overwhelm the Spaniards the Spanish uh, with their epic cav presence and wow that was just absolutely insane of a cav engagement and it, it it was really close now you can see spain has sent up infantry reinforcements and they're gonna pop some shots but it's kind of too late and france comes out on top i mean there's still some spanish cavs so it's not quite over yet but this is pretty much where we uh left off in the video so we will uh go back to the uh present time of the battle that was unbelievable, and it's still going on as all these units of CAV are going at it and just fighting to the bitter end. Uh, it does look like the French, with all their CAV, are going to overwhelm the other side here, and you can see massive amounts of breaking from the Russian CAV. Uh, we do have a couple units that have stopped breaking and regrouped, but it does look like the French have uh, taken this one. It's not over yet. Maybe the coalition forces have some reserves they can send in. It doesn't look like it. Uh, now, way back over on this side, this battle has begun. Sure enough, Russia did what I said, I, or did what I thought they were going to do. They're gonna rely on this hill and hold their ground here, but the French player is not phased by it at all, and he has, uh, he has uh, decided to attack the hill. Whether that will be a blunder or not, we will find out here soon enough. But things are, honestly, Russia looks pretty good here. Uh, Russia looks like, thanks to the hill, some really good positioning. They could win. There is a bit of a melee going on here. France is just getting real, real ballsy here. Woof. Men are flying from artillery. Absolute carnage. Uh, but yeah. Ooh, did you see that volley? That was so cool. Man, what a struggle this battle is. And it's all over the place. I mean, the, the fight for the town is still underway. France looks like they're losing on this side. And look at this. Russia has arrived with fresh reinforcements here to help Spain. And guys, France is looking a little rough right now. It's looking, at least in this part of the battle, it's looking like they're going to, they might have to fall back a little bit. This is just too many troops for them to handle. We'll see how France deals with that. Let's go back over to the other side where it's looking really promising for the French side. Uh, where they are pretty much routing this British army and it all started with two units of grenadiers charging in with bayonets absolute carnage look at this look at this fight and now the British are trying to re-establish their line here they're trying to reorganize their forces. They're using their artillery. They pretty much have reformed with the artillery. But this artillery, it's got to get firing and it's got to fire fast. So they have grape shot. And one grape shot would just destroy this unit of uh, infantry. Oh, not grape shot, but that was a direct hit with a cannonball. Ripped a hole straight through the unit and breaks the men. Now, most of the troops are getting back up from that. Uh, man, they, t they can take a cannibal to the face. No big deal. That's amazing. Uh, but yeah, uh, the French, I mean, it's getting a little sloppier here for the French. I mean, the French might want to slow down here. I think the French can just, they taste victory. They got a little taste of it as they saw the British breaking. But this is not over. This is far from over. And they don't want to carelessly pursue the British and lose many troops uh, through that pursuit. Because you never know, even if they win this engagement against the British, they might need a lot of troops to deal with uh, Spain and Russia over on the other side, which, oh, dude, oh my goodness, France is getting just ripped apart. 
by the Spanish artillery. Really good positioning with the artillery. Really good job with the infantry. He's got some grenadiers protecting the artillery. Look at these hats here. Oh, so cool. So they're just ripping holes into the lines. We've got Russia now. Russia has now taken the job of attacking this side of this of the town. Uh, so while that's going on, let's look over on the other side. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's just this battle is just being fought on so many fronts. It's very difficult to try to keep up with everything, but it looks like Russia has called in a massive bayonet charge and have broken one half of the French army here. So this is not a great start for the French forces. Um, it's it's looking kind of rough for them. Um, Russia is uh, over here as well. So we got two different types of Russia. We've got like Imperial Russia and anyways, they're both Russian, different time periods. Uh, but yeah, Russia, what they're gonna do, I call this the, the swinging door, the swinging door of justice. Everything sounds better when you, you finish of justice, you know? Like, seriously, think about it. Anything you do in your daily, like, I'm I'm going on my commute of justice. You know, I'm eating breakfast of justice. It's like, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Anyways, France um, has has found themselves kind of surrounded here a little bit. They're in that this is a smart move. He's getting out of there. He's just maneuvering out of there. Uh, let's look what else is going on. Uh, the French Cav is victorious. They're really going to have to rely on this Cav. Because remember, one player went all Cav pretty much. So they're going to have to really use them. Keep them fresh. Don't tire them out. And get some good hammer and anvil. And look at the Cav from that huge engagement is still breaking. Unbelievable. Let's go back over to this main fight here. Let's see how this is playing out. It does look pretty promising still for the French they have um I think they got a little sloppy there but uh, I think they're doing just fine I think they're gonna win this engagement and guys I cannot stress this enough France needs to win this engagement they must win this engagement they've taken out most of the British artillery and that's a huge loss for the British forces that artillery is gone and now they have to rely on pretty much just infantry which uh, is not good for them because they're about to be shelled by artillery hit by the rifles um, you know potentially charged by the grenadiers the French have a lot more combined arms in this situation which is always going to make it a bit more favorable also they have more troops it's just right at this point you might want to just retreat and try to link up with your allies which uh, even that's going to be difficult because the French have Cav. And retreating against Cav is uh, nearly impossible. So we'll see uh, how that plays out. Let's go over to the other side here. Okay, the French are maneuvering their Cav down this way th towards kind of like the center between the two fights. If you look at the minimap where we are. And then over on this side, um, man, what is happening? It looks like the French kind of gave up on this flank here against the Spanish. They're now maneuvering across behind the town and now the Russians are closing in. So the French have definitely been pushed back and they're, they're having to reorganize their troops and try to, uh, you know, reestablish a better foothold against this massive Russian Spanish force. But here comes Russia and the, they both kind of open fire at each other at the same time, but Russia's looking pretty good. They just got to take their time. If you're the coalition at this point, take your time. Don't rush into things. You're winning this fight. Uh, just, you know, don't obviously take too much time, but uh, definitely just put your foot down. Be stern. Be aggressive. Uh, but just don't be reckless. And I think they're going to be just fine here. Uh, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, now, the French have this now let's uh just to remind you guys this is the french force that was attacking the russians up on the hill that lost half of their army uh this is actually i, I like this play by the french forces here i like that he just got out of there and maneuvered to a different part of the battlefield because i just feel like he would have lost over there he might have gotten some kills here and there but i think he can do a lot more here i think he can be a lot more effective and get a lot more kills for his team now, the Russians and Spanish forces have turned a lot of their uh, forces' attention to this kind of reserve line or reinforcement line. They've got artillery now opening fire on them. I, I, it, it definitely helps the French in the town a little bit. But I, if I'm the French here, 
I would just try to avoid you just kind of you're between a rock and a hard place you might just want to just do as much damage as you get taken out you know take as many with you um, but yeah oof, absolutely uh, absolutely crazy of a fight look at this finally opening fire let's get a bird's eye view of this fight look at see how the French are being pushed back the Russians just slicing through the center of the town and the French are just constantly having to fall back here. Oh man, this is this is brutal. But hey, let's not forget we do have some French cav that is setting up on the flank here. Oh my god, the French line have found themselves surrounded. But if this cav can charge in and get them by surprise, they might have an opportunity here of potentially breaking an entire army. I mean, I've seen it before with a lot of cav units. All it takes is for you to run into an infantry line that does not know how to form square. You take them out, and then it causes a chain reaction. So we'll see how that plays out. Also, artillery is open to attack. A general is open to attack. So this is too... What are they doing? I mean, I know there's some stakes here, but that's easy to avoid. You can still sneak in and get this artillery. An absolute crazy fight. Let's go back over to the uh, shoreline here and see how this is playing out again no surprise this is what the british need to be doing kind of kiting kind of falling back you're gonna lose this fight it's it the reality of it all is that you're gonna lose it but what you want to do is bring down as many as you can with you and as long as possible keep this army stuck over here fighting you instead of reinforcing their allies big melee charge right here in the center looks like the the french have this one here they it does appear they are facing lights like light units light infantry so it doesn't look like it's that big of a deal uh, and it looks like the British kind of used them as a sacrificial unit so the rest of the army could fall back and reform I think what they're gonna do is go to this town maybe this building they're gonna do whatever they can if I'm the French you might want to get a little aggressive with your cat I would just wouldn't let the, the British do that you just get in there you go get in break them so he uh, unfortunately, the breaking units kind of got in the way of this unit here. Because you don't want to bother breaking breaking units. Like, you know, it's, it doesn't matter. They're, they're breaking. But the French need to hustle up. And I think they realize it because they're really moving. Let's go back over to the side. Oh, my mosh pit. What in the world is happening over here? So the French are being pushed back. They've now been kicked out of this village. They've regrouped, but they're, they're still putting on a stern defense. I mean, really, I mean, it's kind of surprising. They're still putting up quite the fight. Usually you see players kind of retreat out of a situation like this because they're so heavily outnumbered. But no, they continue to fight on. They continue to hold their ground, and they're going to rely on their artillery to do some damage. I assume, what? Oh, yep, the Cav. The cav, I knew it. Yeah, he's going to go for that cav. That is a threatening unit. You definitely want to take it out, so he's using his artillery to do that. Now, if you're on the Russian side, you got to get this thing moving. you got to get it moving and look for weak targets and try to break this French army because you, I'm sure the players realize their ally is losing over on the other side. Now, back over on this way, the French cav. Looks like they tried to do some stuff over here, but nothing like a full commitment, and most of the French forces... Oh, my goodness. Okay, not a big deal, not a big deal. They just broke the British general, and I'm really happy to see that the French full fettle, uh, fettle, full metal, pedal to the metal, dang it. That's what I'm trying to say. They, uh, they did a full-on pedal to the metal charge, and they're not going to let the British regroup in this village and potentially kill a lot more and hold out a lot longer. So, well done, by this French army and I cannot stress how it is how important it is that they won they won this engagement because they now need to quickly march over to this side of the battlefield and support what's left of their allies this is still going to be a very very challenging fight for the French and what the French need to do here they need to, uh, they charging in Cav charging in something no that's okay no that that was that the rush? Oh, that was the Russian cav. Looks like they were... Oh, did they get the... No, no, no. The artillery's fine. Okay. 
Uh, so the Russians went in with their cav that we saw earlier, but it didn't really lead to much. And now the... Wow. Oh, hey, the French are getting aggressive here. I think... I like this. I think they see... They smell blood. They see weakness. Even though they're very outnumbered, I... It's, de it's a defeat in detail as they are going to push forward and try to... Um, I, I, I assume destroy this flank of the Russian army. If they can do that, that's a huge win. Because you got to remember, guys, like in a village, in a street, urban kind of a zone, it's easy to piece apart armies because buildings get in the way. It can be hard to maneuver reinforcements. So, but it doesn't look like the French are going to fully go in like madmen. And the Russians actually fell back there a little bit. And they regroup. And they're just going to continue firing at each other. Which I think is favor favorable for the Russian army. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, the French really at this point have to hold out. And I think they have no interest of trying to win a battle. They're just going to hold out and wait for reinforcements. And let's not forget, guys. There is a, la a, a, a very large cab presence on the battlefield so we'll see how that comes into play and sure enough right away this french army they know this is urgent they need to get going and i also like you know how he's kind of waiting here a little bit it's urgent but at the same time you don't want to charge your army into a uh, dangerous situation piecemeal like you want to go in as one you don't want to make your troops tired like he will get them going very soon i think he's just organizing them making sure they're all together but at the same time he is sending some uh, lights in some cab which is a really good combination because the light infantry can shoot at most infantry like you know line infantry these are more skirmishers not light infantry uh, skirmishers can fire from very far away the cab can support the light infantry against other calves so i think this is a nice combination to move forward he's got his artillery as well they're moving out uh, so it's going to take a little while to get to the other side of the battlefield but the french over here they just have to hold on and my goodness they are doing more than just holding on they are putting some fire under the russians they're putting a little little pressure under the russians but the russians have reinforcements and they are going to maneuver their troops around this is a problem and i think the French need to fall back. Well, they're on the verge of breaking some line infantry here. Ah, but they're going to fall back. Okay, yeah. That's what he needs to do, but that's okay. That's that's pretty big for the, the French right there. Just keeping them back. Keeping them back. This is like epic horde mode. Epic horde mode for the French player as he's taking on all these uh, Russians and Spanish. So this is going to be so cool. Like, this is... It. Who's going to win this, guys? I mean, who do you think? Uh, it, are the French going to win it? Are the, the coalition, are they going to win it? It's looking rough for the French, to be honest. But you never know, guys, if they can pull off a good rear charge. If this French army can cause the Russians and Spanish to bleed, then there is always, there's always hope. The Russians are now getting very aggressive. Okay, they're moving forward. And look at what the French player's doing here. This is actually really genius. He's outgunned based on muskets. But he is not outgunned overall. He has cannons. And he's going to form a line around his cannons. And right away, right away, he's tearing holes into the Russian army, but Russia's gonna make a move with their cav, and they might actually pull this off. Russia's gonna go for a suicide charge here against the artillery, and that is a well-timed charge by the Russian player, where the French player had nothing to defend their artillery. Now, the cav break almost instantly, so unfortunately, I don't think they're gonna be able to, yeah, they did not kill the artillery, which is good for France. That was, Oh, and then here comes a cab charge out of nowhere from the French side. Got the 13th Dragoons going after the infantry. This is huge. This could be the exact spark they needed. Uh, this is from the cav player. I think he just had a unit of cav just kind of hiding in the tree line over here. Uh, and just came out of nowhere. What a well-timed charge. He probably saw that that Russian cab was gone. The infantry was vulnerable. And he went in for a charge. And Russia's in panic mode right now. He doesn't know what to do. Uh, he's trying to hold the line. And the French... Oh, dude. That was 
Oh, that was so well played. That was a pro moment right there. Uh, just, I love seeing that in these battles. NTW3 has just the greatest battles because there's moments like that where you need patience. You need patience. You need to set up traps. You need to give the enemy a false sense of confidence. And then as soon as, you, you know, they're in too deep you or they think they've won it, you pull out the trap. You pull out the ace up your sleeve. And uh, you just turn this battle on its head. And that's what the French did there. What a well-timed cab charge there. And with the artillery and everything, just magnificent. Well done. Well done. Uh, but the problem is Spain is moving in. Now, if I'm Spain here, what I would be doing is shuffling more troops outward. Put a lot of pressure outward because uh, you have more men. You can stretch your lines further out. Uh, but Spain is finally getting uber aggressive here. You probably saw that Russia is really getting uh, beat up. So Spain's going to come in and try to help them out. So there they go. But France is going to, yeah, France is going to have to maneuver and reorganize. Um, and also, you know, probably doesn't help that the French lights or the French skirmishers are now in this uh, little forest here, or orchard. I don't know. It's not quite an orchard because the trees are kind of random. But anyways, uh, they're kind of closing in on the back of the Spanish army. Now, Spain has uh, a couple options here. Either full force, go aggressive and try to take out this French force and then turn around or split the army in half to deal with the... Uh, reinforcing French over on the other side. Now, we do have another Russian army over on this side of the battlefield, kind of this open field. I think it looks like they're going to try to cut off the French reinforcements, but they're just a little too far away, in my opinion. They just seem a little too far away. I don't think France is really going to care. Now, what could become a problem is that Russia could... Basically, France could get tunnel vision and focus all of their force on trying to quickly kill Spain to, you know, the, the Spanish army. And then this Russian army could close in and get behind the French. So it's like a triple flank, a triple outflank there. The lights are now in position. They're going to open fire at the backs of the Spanish. Lucky for the Spanish, they have a little bit of tree cover that's going to help uh, protect their troops uh, from some shots. Uh, and then over here, sure enough, Spain is using their numbers to stretch out their lines and put as much pressure on the French as possible because it, it, they want to destroy this army. If they break this army, if they destroy this army, it is over. It is over and it's going to come down to uh, this army right here. It's going to be quite the ending. Quite the ending. Uh, now we've got uh, some immortals here. Uh, gendarmes, uh, the elite gendarmes, <laughs> the immortals, uh, just kind of waiting for another opportunity. We've got a random line infantry kind of putting pressure on the Russians. The Russians, the Russians have reformed with, you know, troops on the other side of their line. They've kind of regrouped after that uh, very well-timed French charge. And sure enough, the French realize, hey, 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 you know, we're getting... A little bullied here. We might want to reform here, create some distance, and wait for reinforcements. And that's exactly what they're doing. And uh, doing a good job against Spain over here as well. Just staying alive, keeping the line alive. Uh, but now we've got, look at this. We've got French Cav going in to the battlefield here. Charging in. We get the 19th uh, uh, Cheval. Chass Chassier Cheval. Uh, they are going in and going for a charge in the backs of the Spanish forces. There they go. So nice little charge there. Really trying to take them out. We've got another general gone. Oh, they charged the general. The general was in the mix of that. Uh, they killed the general. That's going to be a huge morale loss. Now over on this side, they're going to pursue the Spanish that have, that have tunnel vision trying to break the French lines. Absolutely amazing absolutely amazing what a great cab charge there the spanish army is getting enveloped they are getting surrounded and crushed and killed they've got lights firing at the the center line they've got cav going around the flank and picking off these spanish troops and saving this french army who've now formed a v shape this is how desperate this is getting they formed a v-shape trying to hold on for dear life until reinforcements can arrive but it does look like half 
or really the majority of this vic victorious French army is now going to hold their ground because let's not forget there is another entire army from the Russians over here. So uh, Spain is, is he, they found themselves in a very tough spot. Um, they lost their general. This entire push by the Spanish cracked. So now France is lucky enough to focus a lot of his attention against the Russians. Now the Russians are moving in once again. They're getting aggressive with their infantry. Let's see what uh, France does here. It, honestly, they don't really have to do anything. They can just stand their ground and look at they're breaking the Russian infantry. They've got them right where they want them. France has, after the cab charge from the reinforcement French army and that entire Spanish line broke, France just lifted a bunch of weight off of their sh their their uh, so, uh, shoulders. I keep wanting to say soldiers. Shoulders. Uh, they've done a great job here, and they're gonna use this tree line. They're gonna hold their ground. This is this is all they have to do. This is all they have to do. Look at more French cav charging in, just harassing the Spanish army. It's kind of like the French have adapted and picked up a lot of the tactics from the Spanish. Small ambushes, guerrilla warfare, you know, just coming out of nowhere, striking and going away. You know, that's what they're doing, and bit by bit, they are crushing the Spanish army in such a magnificent way. There we go. Such a fun way to watch. Oh my god, this has been a great battle. Very entertaining because it's so back and forth. So back and forth. Uh, now the French have kind of concentrated their lines here to kind of help with the center. This French cab mixed in with the lights are kind of maneuvering over to the right. They've been putting pressure in the back lines. Some more cab shifting through the tree line. And here we go. We can finally see this Russian line, this Russian force. Now this force was victorious way over here. They crushed this French army. The player, the French player over here is out of the game. If you remember, half his army was destroyed and then he got caught in between a rock and a hard place and just wiped out. Uh, so most of his forces, if not all, are gone. Now this is just, oh, and here we go. Here we go again. How do we miss this? We got the Immortals. The Immortals charging in into the flank, into the edge line, the edge of this line, and they are chain routing. Look at the Russians are losing the stomach to fight uh, because they are just getting zero progress. Zero progress against the French. And this Immortal unit is truly becoming immortal as they just... Just... Uh, they, they just charge straight into this Russian line and they have broken the entire line here and now the French are gonna close in we got more cav charging in here oh my goodness they are using their cav so effectively guys this is how you use cav this is how you use cav in this game wait you just gotta be patient you got to be patient. I'm really surprised Russia that happened to Russia twice. And the entire Russian flank. This Russian army is pretty much done. Pretty much done. And they have conquered this town. They have conquered the village. What a struggle that was. An absolute fight. Uh, now over on this side, uh, the French, uh, they've, got, they've got them right where they want them. They're setting up artillery. The town has been cleared. Some Spanish troops, they're trying to evacuate from the town and link up with the Russians over here in a matter of not really not that long, like what, 10 minutes? Uh, it felt like it went from this is going to be an easy coalition win to uh, a very easy French win. So very, very shocking right here, but we'll see how the Russian Spanish forces kind of hold up and how they, um, you know, make their last stand. Maybe they've got something up their sleeve. You just don't know. So the French and the Russians have, uh, they've, they've started to fully engage here. Uh, so the Russian army is kind of split in two, uh, where we have uh, a lot of French troops taking on about three units of Russian line. Uh, we also have uh, some artillery maneuvering over this way as well. You can see that he's really, honestly moving all of uh, all of his army over to this one side to engage the French but it really doesn't matter which way he goes he's going to uh, meet disaster 
Uh, the Spanish are still falling back with the two units they have. But honestly, at this point, I would just turn and, and fight. Uh, because they're already so low on morale that I just don't think they're going to fight at all anyways. Like, yeah, this Cav is just going to charge them. You might as well just stay on your ground, pop off some shots. Maybe you'll kill some Cav. But there we go. Watch. This, this unit's going to break instantly. Ready? Uh, uh, there we go. That's close enough to instant. Dota is like, come on, game. Don't embarrass me in front of all my fans. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't like... I don't, never mind. Anyways, um, I prefer viewers. My viewers. Anyways, um, really good play with the cab there by, by France. And now Russia is going to find themselves surrounded once again they're just kind of maneuvering their troops here and finding a favor favorable position i assume but he's outgunned in literally every way infantry artillery cav cannons well that's the same thing as artillery but you get what i'm saying so the russian infantry have formed a pretty solid line here of uh gunfire onto the french but I like what the Russians are doing. It almost feels like what Russia is trying to do is pull a little bit of a Napoleon here, and he's going to try to defeat smaller forces one by one, and then try to win that way. Um, but he's got to be more aggressive because we have the total death flank right here by the French. Uh, lots and lots of infantry. And now we've got the Russians going in for a bayonet charge against these lights, which might work out um yeah they might actually no no they broke okay because the french reinforced the lights with their own infantry and they break the lines there and then now we've got the death flank that is going to maneuver and put some real bad flanking fire now we also have some spanish troops here and there but I don't know where this unit has been, where they've been. I don't know, but they're, they're still alive. They could try to sneak up on this artillery, which would be a pretty big win for the coalition. And here comes a cab charge, which is going to be disastrous for the Russian artillery. Just like that, wiped out. And now we've got the French going in for a charge against the Russians. This is the pretty much Russia's last cav units here. Oh, yeah. Really good fight here. Really good struggle. And now the Russian line infantry just don't know what to do as uh, death is closing in on them from all sides. Uh, and it looks like now, honestly, for the Russians, it might be time to drop the muskets and raise your hands and surrender. Raise your arms and surrender uh, because this is uh, not going to end well. I think the Russians know that because they're going for this desperate last charge with their infantry. And this is honestly the best they could probably do at this point. Man, it just... By looking at the end results here, it looks like this was a crushing defeat, but it really wasn't. I mean, it felt a lot... I'm not even say even. It felt like one-sided for most of this battle. It felt like the coalition was going to easily win this... And that's why I love this mod. It's just, if you know how to attack an army, if you know how to, you know, delay a losing battle or turn the battle on its head, like, you can turn, you can do some pretty incredible stuff. Uh, they are having, the Russians are having a bit of success here uh, with, oh, and their Cav won. Look at that. Oh, but they're charging into a square. Uh, but, yeah, they, they kind of broke the French lines here. Again, I don't think it's going to be enough. There's so many more units of uh, infantry from the French. But yeah, that's that's going to wrap up today's battle. You can see over here, there's some forces closing in on the Russian force. And that is going to about do it, guys. So what we're going to do at this point, because this is so clearly over, is we're going to go ahead and look at the end results. All right, guys. So here you have it. Here is the results. Uh, this was a great battle. But really, I felt like was decided in one maneuver, which was the surprise French charge on the uh, flank on the Russian infantry. That was so good. 
Really, really enjoyed that. And I hope you guys did too. This battle replay was sent in by Guy. I want to give them, uh, give him a huge thank you for such a great battle. I do appreciate it. And uh, thank you everyone who uh, enjoyed the video today, who watched the video. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time on the battlefield. Also, big shout out to all the other players in the battle as well. That was awesome. GG to everyone. See you guys next time.